Welcome back to another Goddess Story video. I get a lot of questions, a lot of the same questions around Goddess Story, so I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about some of the frequently asked questions surrounding Goddess Story. Um, I'm gonna go over quite a few important things, so if you're thinking about buying Goddess Story or collecting the cards, you should definitely watch at the end just to make sure you have everything covered. So let's start with what is Goddess Story. Now, Goddess Story is actually an unofficial English name given to the Chinese collectible cards, uh, Nu Shun, Wu Yu, which no surprise translates to goddess story or like goddess kind of tale, right? And basically goddess story is an unlicensed, keyword unlicensed here, unlicensed production of official and fan art from various animes into trading card form. Okay, it's not just animes actually, so it's animes and video games as well. Um, but in general, these cards, especially the higher rarity cards, um, I'll talk a bit more about the rarities later, but the rar higher rarity cards are really high quality. Um, unless you hold one in your hand, you'll be you're gonna you're gonna be really like uh, astounded by how good the quality is. So with the higher quality cards, they have hollow texture, embossing, prismatic hollows, uh, stamping, and they've done a lot of editing and Photoshop work to make the card look really unique at the higher rarities. But with the lower rarity cards, 99% of the time the artwork is directly lifted from the source material. So take a look at this. This poor artist's watermark is still on this card. Um, and that's right, the print, the real printed version of this card still has the original artist's watermark on it. That's really bad, isn't it? Uh, but you can just tell that with Goddess Story, they've just taken a lot of fan work and a lot of artwork, official artwork as well, and just made it into trading cards. Um, so let's move on and let's talk about set lists and galleries. So this being an unofficial illegal production of artwork means that there's really no resource in the West and also it's quite new as well. Uh, I think Goddess Story only came out in July in China. So my friend and I are actually working right now to create a website to document down each card, the name of the girl, the anime she's from and the set number and the actual card image as well. And you can find all of this over at www.goddesstcg.com. Right now we're still in beta and we're still adding uh, more set onto the site and adding more functionality as well. But you can still search by name, anime series, set, etc. And you can view the entire set at once. So it's really useful if you're wanting to collect these cards or if you want to see uh, just who the girl is and where she's from. Because a lot of the time people won't be able to read the Chinese that's on the card. We also have plans to make some sort of bookmarking functionality so you can use it to document your collection and to see which cards you're missing, uh, but that's all in the future for now and as I said, we're still in beta. But of course, if you do have feedback, if you do have kind of some functionalities that you really want, come to our Discord server and basically come chat with us and, you know, just tell us what you want. Uh, we're a friendly bunch. But on a related note, um, let's talk about rarities. So in Goddess Story, you have quite a few rarities and it gets relatively confusing. You have R's, SR's, SSR's, PTR's, MR's, FR's, MTR's, ZR's, and SP's. Um, I don't know what each one of them stand for. I assume R's means rares, but for PTR's, I don't know what it stands for. Let's just call it platinum rare, for example, or MR's, let's just call it mega rare. But anyways, ours are the lowest rarity and do not have texture, and they're not hollow. But they may have some sort of lamination that gives them this iridescent effect. Uh, so it may look hollow from certain angles, but it doesn't actually, it's not actually shiny, it's just coming from the lamination. SRs, on the other hand, which is the next level up from ours, do have hollow and they also have texture. Uh, SSRs, which is then the next level above that, have hollow texture but also gold borders and they look really good because a lot of the time uh, they have gold highlights as well on the actual card artwork so somebody's done some photoshop uh, from SSR upwards and then PTRs in general have all of that stuff we talked about before but they also have gold silhouettes and they have a collage or maybe some sort of gallery of the girl behind the image of the girl herself and then MRs are similar but they also have less gold so they also have less gold in the card and more uh, colored prismatic hollow effects so you'll see a lot of uh, red and blue kind of prismatic hollow effects in MR cards and then the next level up uh, you have FRs FRs are actually guaranteed in each pack in the premium box but they are basically transparent cards they're really cool looking uh, so the main image of the girl's opaque and the background is slightly transparent um, so if you put it on top of a light box for example it looks really good and then also in the premium box you get NTRs now NTRs I've already talked about a bit before in a previous video um, 
but just if in case you've missed that, they look like MRs, but they have a collage of the girl's love interests being romantically involved with somebody else in the background. Yeah, that's right. Somebody was a real sadist to think of this rarity. Uh, they actually made NTR a rarity. It's actually quite amazing. Um, but anyways, the creme de la creme, in my opinion, of Goddess Story are the sign cards. Uh, much like in by Schwartz, the sign cards are the most desirable. And if you go and look at singles on eBay, uh, on an Express, whatever, ZRs tend to be the most expensive. ZRs are also quite hard to pull as well because uh, even though they only come in the five yuan boxes, they're not guaranteed per box. I don't actually know what the pull rate is, but I've only ever pulled one. Um, but similar to the SP cards in my Schwartz, they have a signed stamped signature on, um, and they're usually quite uh, plain, not plain's not the right word, but they're quite clean looking. So it's usually just with the girl, a silhouette of the girl in the background, on a white background with the gold stamp, and they look really good. And then in Goddess Story, the final rarity is SP. Now, SP has only been introduced in the premium box for Love Live Girls, and basically SPs are double-sided reversible cards. So on both sides of the card, you actually get some nice artwork. Usually on normal Goddess Story cards, the back of the uh, artwork is some information about the girl herself, um, a very poorly translated Chinese machine translated description of the girl with some stats and that's about it but with the SPs you get nice artwork on both sides and now I think the last question that I'm going to cover today is probably the easiest one to answer where do you buy goddess story cards from and the simple answer is AliExpress <laughs> look these cards are not real goddess story is not a real card game I say real in air quotes but re it's not it's not licensed it's not official um, so this stuff that you see on AliExpress is actually the real, again, real in air quotes, uh, Goddess Story cards. So when you go on AliExpress and you see all these sellers saying Goddess Story, these are the actual cards that are the official Goddess Story cards. So you shouldn't have too many reservations about buying from AliExpress, but of course if you do want to talk about specific sellers or which sellers include promo cards or which sellers uh, package the boxes up the best, then come to our Discord where we talk about that an awful lot. Uh, let's leave that video here, it's getting quite long at the 7 minute mark, so uh, I hope this covered most people's questions, but of course if you do still have some questions, again, come to the Discord, we're really friendly, um, put your questions down, we'll try and answer as much as possible, come and enjoy the community, we stream our openings a lot of the time, uh, it's a lot of fun, hopefully see you there. Alright guys, speak soon, bye.